So I wanted to do what may very well be my last update on the Hugel Tower Garden because as you can see, it's become a bit overgrown. I have basically just let this go wild. There's now these little weeds, almost as tall as my corn. But as you can see, my bees love it. And that's why I've just kind of let it go. And I haven't really worried about it because all these flowers just these haven't opened yet, but my bees love these and the little orange ones. I don't know what all these wildflowers are, Queen Anne's Lace. Tons of pollinators. My bees are loving it, so I just let it go because I kind of give up <laughs> on the garden. It ran into some issues, and the issues were resolved since my last update, I would say. And I'll talk about that a little bit as I walk around. So as you can see right here, the tomatoes are still looking awesome. We actually just had a week, a week-long series of thunder showers. So we actually had a lot of rain, so that helped. A lot of these, most of these tomatoes honestly look dead and I kind of gave up on them. I don't know, maybe this won't be the last update. This is actually the first time I've walked into the garden since the showers. And um, I'm seeing a ton of new fruit. <laughs> so that's great. I did already harvest a dozen or so uh, tomatoes from the garden, as you can see. There's a lot of fruit to be had still. Some did unfortunately get eaten up by bugs and other such things. But those are doing really great. My peppers are doing pretty fantastic, actually. You can see bump a, a bunch of uh, pepperoncini down there. I have Greek and it, uh, Italian. These are the King of the North peppers. I won't be doing these again. I tested them to see if I could find a bell pepper that worked well in the season, but bell peppers in general just suck. Like, they hardly produce any fruit, and they always end up being just a disappointment. So that one looks pretty good, but I had a couple red ones on here that were just tiny. And again, it's because my garden's had a lot of issues, so who knows what's going on. But banana peppers, yeah. So look at all that. I've already taken off a few fruit off these plants, and they are just loaded with... And some of them look pretty nasty, I will admit. Um, but some of them look really good. And I've actually harvested some, and I love eating the banana peppers. My daughter loves eating them. So I'm definitely going to grow them. They're incredibly productive. Probably the best pepper that worked in my garden this year. But I probably won't bother with a lot of these other varieties because I tried a bunch of new ones. Like, even my Jimmy Nardello didn't do fantastic this year, which was really surprising to me. Jimmy Nardello right here. I mean, I have a good amount of fruit, don't get me wrong, but... it may be in a more traditional garden or maybe in hydroponics it would have worked better. So I have a nice sized fruit down here. But I wasn't thrilled with their performance. I probably will grow them again. Probably them and banana peppers. Maybe one other sweet pepper. But I'm not blown away by all the other peppers. I tried Cubanelle, and I tried the King of the North bell pepper, and didn't really get much of anything. So there's nothing to show back there, because that's all the beans that died. I will admit they're kind of, there's a few plants kind of struggling, but nothing to write home about, nothing I'm really excited about. So now i got to get through this bee, this bee gauntlet. So, so my corn, my corn's coming along pretty nicely, actually. You can see I have some tassels and some silk coming on. I don't know if you can see the silk in there. So my corn, corn's doing pretty well, but I'll tell you what, there was no point starting it indoors. Like, I started indoors because I wanted to get a jump on the season. The stuff I, this is the stuff I planted from seed. And it's actually taller than the stuff I planted from starts. Now, the ones I planted from starts are producing tassels sooner. They have full-on tassels and silk, and I'm not quite seeing that in my other, in my seed-planted corn. But if I do corn again in Kugel Towers, I'm just going to plant it directly. There's really no point. Because I, I started the, the corn early, and I put them in, and they took a little while to get situated, so it's better to just plant. And that may be true of these Kugel Towers in general. Again, so long as I get the slugs under control, I think we're going to be in a good place. So yeah, I don't know what all these wildflowers are, but the bees are loving it, so therefore I'm loving it. So let's talk about some successes. So look at all these. These are all early moonbeam watermelons. Now they are a little eaten up because of our friends the slugs, but look, check it out. This is growing along the ground. Oops, sorry, my cable's in the way. And I apologize. I've been outside working all day because we're preparing for my daughter's fourth birthday party. So I'm a little tired, a little tired. Check it out. There's a little sugar pumpkin growing, so that's great. That hung in there. And the sugar pumpkin actually grew into the watermelon patch. 
So I don't see any fruit yet. I see little baby fruit, but nothing significant here for the watermelons. But I would love to get these, this early moonbeam watermelon because it is a yellow flesh watermelon. And despite the fact that watermelon is like one of my favorite fruit, I have, I've never had anything but the red flesh. And there's so many, like I tried to grow an orange yellow last year with an orange flesh. That just didn't work out. But um, I'm really hoping something will come of this. I have a ton of healthy plants. They're now growing ahead and making gains against the slugs. So I'm hoping something will come about. I think this is another little one. Little melon started. So super excited, super excited. Those are doing great. And my summer squash, I thought these were dead. So I did a video called what the heck happened to my summer squash. I got another one I have to pick. I've already picked several out of here. They almost died. All the old leaves died off. I came in, I added more um, fertilizer. I added a fertilizer with additional minerals with like calcium. And I went ahead and threw some lime. I actually added lime to all my beds. And that made the difference. That really made the difference. So after that, the old leaves still died off, but all the new leaves came in with wonderful growth. It still looks like there's some kind of nutrient deficiency going on, but finally they were putting on fruit and the fruit stayed around. I don't know if you can see all the fruit back there. So that's amazing. I've already picked three that I need to eat. Uh, I think I've picked three or four that I need to eat. And there's a few more on here. I actually should pick this right now. Come here, you. I have a bad habit of leaving them on too long because summer squash and zucchini alike just grow so fast. Once the fruit sets, it grows like crazy. And before you know it, you have massive, massive fruit. I'm not going to bother saving any for seed because I still have a ton of seed. That will be good next year. So my potatoes are not too bad. Like I thought they, die, they were going to die off. Looks like they've perked up again. I'm going to leave them for as long as possible. I did brush aside. Let's see if I can find that again. I did brush aside one of the plants and I found little baby potatoes. All right, I don't know where the heck that was. So. I'm not going to disturb them, but I did find actual potatoes growing, so that's good to know. I hope to have quite a good harvest. And look at this. So it survived the slugs. This is, this is actually um, a bush variety of acorn and spaghetti squash. I don't know which is which, but, 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 things are looking great down here now. Now that I add those extra minerals. So I think calcium was severely deficient in these beds. I think that was a big part of it. And oh, look right there. Acorn squash. So I look forward to having some, oh, this is a, come on leaf, get out of the way. Spaghetti squash. So that's coming along great too. I have to be careful because there's a pumpkin right through here. Now another surprise, a bed that I didn't even bother talking about most of the summer is this right here. This is actually a sweet potato bed. Most of these plants got eaten down by slugs to the point where they disappeared. I actually thought this bed was dead. And then all of a sudden, they started growing fast enough to avoid getting too slug eaten. And you'll notice there's a purple one here. There's actually a couple weird colors. These were sweet potatoes I got from the store that, were, that started sprouting, so I threw them in here. So I have like the varieties, these varieties. And those. So I don't know if it'll produce sweet potatoes. That'd be awesome if it did. I'm thinking about, irregardless, to actually take some of the take some of the slips and try to bring them inside and grow them inside. So I have sweet potatoes for next year. But I'll be quite honest, I don't, I'm not expecting much because this, we just don't have a long enough season for these sweet potatoes to properly grow. Last, every time I've tried to grow them, I get little tiny thin things instead of proper. Instead of proper sweet potatoes. So that's pretty much it. My overgrown crazy jungle garden. So at the end of the year, I'm gonna chop all these back. I'll probably do more updates on this because like I said, this is actually the first time I've been in the garden since it rained and everything seems to have come back to life. So that's awesome. So anyway, um, I'm not gonna really say much more about this right now. I will keep you updated on the success of, you know, more squash. These, these watermelons are high on my list of hopeful, hopeful successes. And uh, once this season ends, I gotta Whipper snip all this stuff back and save my berry bushes that are growing and buried along here. Let's see, I don't even know if I could find them. They're so buried. Yeah. There's a blueberry bush right down there. 
It's crazy how much, how quickly this grows, especially with the rain that we just got. Hello, little bee. You're not one of mine. But anyway, so thank you so much for watching, and thank you for joining me on this journey. <laughs>